How are you? I'm thanks to you. I'm very well, thank you. What is your name, surname, and where are you from? Okay. My name is Nosipur Christian Hasmi. I am from Colesburg, Northern Cape. What were you doing before becoming a participant of PSH's Common Good Youth SRHR project, which is funded by the Social Employment Fund? Oh, uh, before then I was working at retail and the cashier, if I'm not used as a cashier. Tell us about your role at Partners in Sexual Health and what a typical work day entails. My work day at PSH, I'm a healthcare promoter, meaning that we do mostly community work, teaching people, educating them about the SRHR on their rights and we do advocate for that as well. And my day looks like educating, informing, and most importantly, influencing. How has life changed financially after joining the Common Good Youth SRHR project? Drastically good. Um, now I have buying power. I can afford things that I couldn't. Retail has money, but not in as much as it should be. When, I'm, when you come from a small place, the buying power gets to be a bit small. So with PSH, they gave me a few days that paid more, which means that I get to access more of the things that I need. What personal development have you experienced after joining this project? For example, which new skills have you gained? Emotional intelligence mostly. Um, confidence when it's speaking to larger groups, because I'm used to smaller groups. and. The fact that I'm dealing with in mental health issues, talking to people and educating them and advocating for that as well has actually helped me express myself more in different languages. I'm, I'm fluent in a few languages, so I get to reach a certain demographic of people that most people can't, and I get to be influential as well. What do you enjoy the most by working in the Common Good Youth SRHR project? Ah, oh, where do I begin? Um, I like mostly, sometimes we meet older people. With older people you have to be very soft. You have to be very calm and you have to reach them at a certain level. That level, that's where there's respect, where they could listen, where they could understand you so giving that information and then also being in that level with them it's it's a very delicate age when they're older they're very delicate but they also give you more information and advice about life so with that I, I, I get to gain in as much as i can what permanent employment would you like to do in the future and does this project assist you to take a step in that direction um i'd like to be a community worker, um, health promoter, though, adds to that, more to that. It, it, it gives me access to stakeholders, access to information, access to learning in ways on how to deal with certain issues. And with Siagwazi and PSH, you get a lot of people that are involved we have our social worker our team leaders we have our administrators we have our coordinators each and every role has a way of teaching you on how to um, be in a position even though you're not working in the position every step they get to be clear on this is how we do things this is how you do this if you encounter this this is how you deal with this well thank you so much for sharing your story of change